opinions on the migrant caravan on the southern border. How do you feel about it? Um, I think that a bunch of white people came here like 200 years ago and stole land that Native Americans were living on. And there's no reason for us not to let other people come here when we definitely have the land and the resources. And instead of spending like $600 trillion on military, we should give those people medicine and food and water and shelter and not treat them like criminals. So you mentioned the $600 trillion, right? Where does the majority of that money come from? Um, I honestly don't know. I would assume taxes. So you're willing to pay taxes for people to come into the country and... Yeah, my parents are immigrants. I was born here, but my parents were born in India and they wouldn't have been able to come here without other people paying taxes for them. So I would absolutely pay taxes. So do you, are you a homeowner or do you live, you live somewhere, right? Rent an apartment, yeah. Okay, what, if, let's just say like the government came out and was like, hey, let's just bring in like millions of immigrants, thousands, millions. Um, but the public has to be willing to open up their homes to house like two, three, four, five families. Would you be willing to do that? I live in a studio apartment, so I personally would not be willing to do that. I know that in Los Angeles, there's a lot of millionaires with a lot of big houses and a lot more room than me. And I feel like it wouldn't be unreasonable to ask a white millionaire that made their fortune through probably corruption to house some immigrants so that they can work honestly. So you, but you personally wouldn't be willing. No apartment. So, what? So you think? No, I personally would not be willing to let a bunch of people stay in my studio apartment. But I am a member of an oppressed class. I'm a member of the poor people, which are like 70 percent of people that live in this country, and I can't be expected to do what rich people and politicians should be doing for these immigrants. Well, the the only problem is is the money that you speak of comes from taxpayers, like you say. And I don't know if you know this, but according to the Immigration Center studies that have literally come out this month, 63% of people that are not United States Americans in the country are literally on welfare. Honestly, even if they all come here and they're all on welfare, I don't give a fuck. I think people should be given the means to live anyway. I don't think it's wrong for people to be given food and water and health care. And I think that, again, we have an enormous military budget. We could cut our military budget in half and still have the biggest military in the world. So there's no reason to be diverting all of that money into just fighting wars overseas. But what if I don't agree with you? Well, you clearly don't. Well, because it's taxpayer money, that's the issue. Because you're advocating that we should take taxpayer money and bring in all these immigrants in and take care of them, but you're not even willing to house them in your own home. Because I'm poor. I mean, you have to understand the difference between a poor member of the working class in America. I work in a restaurant. That's what those immigrants are going to do too. Why should I be expected to support them and not any politician that's living in a million dollar home or people that are able to drop $10,000 a day without thinking about it? Why shouldn't they be paying rent for immigrants? Why should I be doing it? Why are poor people the only people that are going to stand up for other poor people? So are you willing to like drop like 75% of your uh, paycheck for like an immigrant family to come live here and you're just poor and you might end up on the street? Would you be willing to do that? No. Do you care about them that much? We don't pay 75% of our paycheck in taxes right now. So I That's just a hypothetical number. Just I would be willing to, yeah, if I looked at the breakdown of what I'm paying to taxes, I would, like, I'm a taxpayer. I should be able to choose. I don't want my money to go to cops and border patrol. I just want my money to go to education and immigrants and health care. Like, I'm not able to choose that. If I could, then I would. So are you, are you for immigration or illegal immigration? I don't think that borders should be a thing. I don't, At all. I don't think, I think that we should have some system to people that are like registered felons or criminals t shouldn't be able to travel between countries, but I don't think a border makes sense. Like 30 years ago, you could just walk into Canada and now you need a passport. And that's because of xenophobia and it's because of racism. So you think that just because we want to protect our country, that's racist? Um. America was built on genocide and slavery, so wanting to protect a country built on genocide and slavery is racist, in my opinion. So according to that logic, let's just say back then the Americans came, they fought the Indians, they did what they did. So are you saying that that's logically okay if another country wants to come in and do that in this day and era? If they want to come make war... 
doing that, they're coming here to work in restaurants and in meatpacking industries and picking fruit and vegetables and grains that I'm sure you're not doing that. I'm sure you work in some like cushy millennial job. I'm sure you don't want to be slaughtering animals and packaging them, which is what a lot of immigrants are doing, or working out in 105 degree heat. I mean, if I had to, I, if I absolutely had to, I would. But you have to realize that those people are the backbone of our current agricultural and meat industries. They're not criminals. They're not coming here to like fight a war. Last question. So do you do you believe that Donald Trump is a racist? Yeah. Why? Um, I mean, I feel like that's an obviously inflammatory question that like everyone knows the answer to. Like, well, I'm asking you for the answer. He banned Muslim people from entering this country. He's trying to ban Mexican people from entering this country. He's trying to build a wall around us. He said racist things in the past. What did he say? Outright racist things. I don't fucking know. Watch any of his campaign speeches. He talks about how Mexicans are dirty and rapists and drug dealers, and he's trying to protect us from them. He said some are, not all. Some white people are also drug dealers and criminals, but we're not trying to just... Like, are we kicking white people out of the country? So, so do you have like, do you have like one, one thing, one legitimate reason as to why Donald Trump is a racist? I just gave you legitimate. So because he wants to keep out illegal criminals from the United States of America, that's racist? I mean, they're criminals because it's a crime to come here. So, and there aren't even criminals. Like, it's not illegal to apply for asylum. You're acting like the very act of wanting to come to a new country is committing a crime, which is bull**** and that's you, what America was founded on, is people coming to a new country. Do you know how many people Barack Obama's administration deported? Yeah, I don't like Obama either. I think he's a warmonger and I think he's a piece of shit. so if you were going to try and get me there, I don't support any president. Well, I'm just giving you statistics. There was about 2 million people, okay, and about 90% of those people, the, you can go look all this stuff up, about 90% of those people were literally had criminal records or they were fugitives on the run from ICE coming from foreign countries, not just Mexico. So how do you explain that? They're fugitives on the run from ICE because they've committed the crime of trying to come to a new country. Like, you're you're going in a circle. Yeah, if you make it a crime to try and immigrate, then obviously they're going to be criminals, and then you can call them criminals and say you don't want them to immigrate. So do you think anyone should just be able to walk into the country? Um, I think that, again, there should be a measure to check if you are, like, a registered felon or if you've committed any violent crimes. But... Like, other than that, yeah, I think if someone wants to come to America, they should be able to.